Welcome. This video guides you through the Shell Control Box Live demo interface. The SCB Live demo is configured with limited functionality and grants visitors read only access. Although you cannot create new connections, you can search for and download already recorded sessions. Let's start it. After you log in, you can see SCB's intuitive web interface. SCB is a multi protocol solution capable to monitor all widely used administrative protocols such as Citrix ICA, RDP, SSH, Telnet, VNC, and HTTP. Now, let's check some basic settings. Go to Basic Settings, Network. To make the implementation of such proxy technology easy, SCB supports three operation modes, Bastion, Router, and Bridge. As you can see, the demo system is deployed in Bastion mode. This is the easiest mode to deploy in most cases, while ensuring the least transparency since packets must address SCB specifically. Now, let's check some connection policies. Go to RDP Control Connections. Once packets make their way to SCB, the system checks its connection policies first to see if it should step into the middle of the connection and start proxying. The demo system has such policies configured for the SSH and RDP protocols. As you can see on the RDP Control Connections page, the first level of decision-making happens based on TCP IP header information, such as source and destination addresses and destination port. Some advanced settings are also listed here. Advanced settings like user mapping policy, gateway authentication, archiving policy, audit or content policies are configured in separate policies and are associated with connections in the corresponding connection policy. Now, let's see how you can search for connections. Go to the search menu, Search. Meta information as well as recorded sessions are made accessible at the search interface. The timeline at the top shows the number of entries for each day, week, month, and so on, depending on the selected scale. The result table below shows the actual entries. All connections, accepted and rejected, are listed and can be narrowed down by clicking on values to filter for. Now, let's see a session playback. The little floppy icon in the first column indicates that an audit trail file is available for that specific connection. These files use a container format that supports encryption, digital timestamping, and signing. The audit files contain the original raw network traffic of the activity. To play them back, the Balibit Audit Player application is needed. It can reconstruct the original end-user workflow. You can download the audit player from balabit.com slash downloads. Here you can see a recorded RDP session. The audit player replays the recorded session just like a movie. All actions of the administrator can be seen exactly as they appeared on his monitor. The audit player enables fast forwarding during replays and can show all user inputs even if the user makes actions outside of the visible area. It is possible to run searches against the audit trails using the Find button from the player's UI. Let's try to search for the word Balibit in the audit trails. When searching in trails of graphical protocols, Optical character recognition is used to textualize the context that appeared on the user's screen. When matches are found, a white line indicates on the timeline where the expression occurs in the session. Moving the mouse cursor over the white line shows in what context matches are encountered. That was a short introduction of the Shell Control Box Live Demo Interface. Feel free to try it by yourself. Good luck.